In Acts chapter 20 verse 35 it is written, There is more happiness in giving than in receiving. I have a beautiful story to share. This story is about a rich lady who complained to a psychiatrist that her life is empty and worthless. It had no meaning after her husband passed away. She became all alone in the big house. All these German cars, expensive furniture, Persian carpet, French cutlery, and imported piano are just useless objects to her. Then one day she decided to visit a counselor to seek permanent and long-lasting happiness. The counselor then called the old lady who cleaned the office floors. Then the counselor said to the rich lady, I have called in Mary to tell you on how she found happiness. You just listen to her. The old lady came in and sat down. She said, well, my husband died of malaria. And three months later, my only son got killed in a car accident. I had nothing left. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. I never smiled at anybody. I even thought of taking my own life. Then one evening, a little kitten followed me home from work. It was cold outside, so I decided to let the kitten in. I gave her some milk, she licked the plate clean. Then she purred and rubbed against my leg, which made me smile. Then I stopped thinking. If helping a little kitten could make me smile, maybe doing something for people could make me more happier. Then the next day, I baked some biscuits and took them to a neighbor who was sick in bed. Every day I try to do something good for people, it makes me happy to see them happy. Today, I don't know of anybody who eats or sleeps better than I do. I have found happiness by giving it to others. When the rich lady heard that, she cried. She had everything that money could buy, but she has lost the things that money cannot buy. The beauty of life does not depend on how happy you are. It depends on how happy others can be because of you. Later that lady became a president of a philanthropic organization. Now the lady is busy serving people and finding eternal happiness. Thank you.